right, so uh, as you can see, I started, you know, uh, painting this base. Um, this is a base that was made for this kit by somebody else. It's not made by the sculptor himself. Um, but this is for a um, Michelle Nichols Uhura. Okay, it was made by Antonio Dato. All right, and there's Uhura. There's the top. I finished painting her. I got I scuffed up the hair. I got to finish touching that up. But there she is right there. She looks very pretty, very beautiful. I love it. All right, and here is the okay, the finished product. So I'm right now. What I'm doing is I'm working on the base. We did this during the Way of the Dragon on Saturdays. We do that usually. Uh, not every Saturday, but when we get the chance, we go out there and we paint. Uh, as a group live for people to watch and learn as we learn okay and um we do this mostly on saturday so if you sit you know s subscribe to my channel just paint it or you can subscribe to steve sutton's channel uh skill model kit review or the host of the show red dragon model works by gilbert all right so um th today's sunday i did most of that yesterday um i was just needed to finish the base up this base was designed for that kit by ny3dcreations.com if you guys know that mr doctor has done a lot of the star trek characters and we decided to do that to practice how to do dark skin now um i'm finishing up mine okay we're doing this off we do most of the stuff on camera and then we do other work off camera all right just to catch up and finish with the painting because we, otherwise it would be too long of a show we did two saturdays to do that that kit all right so but there it is the she'll go on this base right there okay and then i'm using a new color that i'm trying this is an adepticon series of the pro acro line and this is magnesium it's a metallic color, and I'm testing it on the Galari Mobius 0.3. Now, you guys seen that I did a 0.2, and that kit that I painted right there was done mostly with the 0.3. I was saying like 95% of it, all right? Um, and then now I'm working on the base, and I'm using it, and I'm running metallics through it, guys, and it's just it's coming out perfect all right so i got these pieces right here uh this one i think is from the next generation so i'm not going to use this one but i am going to use this one and go here I probably painted a gold color a nice gold color not the same as the one that she's wearing because that was mostly i think it was mostly a fabric not like the new ones that that are more metallic uh like a real you know a badge a metallic badge but this is a uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do this in a different gold, all right, and to go with the magnesium. It'll stick out really nice, all right. But this, like again, if you guys are interested in getting a base made like this, you can always go to ny3dcreations.com and talk to uh, Mr. Mike, and maybe he can hook you up. But like I said, guys, this this brush, this airbrush. Now, the 0 0.2, okay. I would say. After just testing it with this kit, though, like the 0 0.2, which is very similar to this, but there are some differences, okay? It's got a bigger cup, a bigger needle, so I've been using this for more broad brushing, okay? And this one a little bit for more detail. And I wanted to see if this was going to set some metallics through it, and it has with no problem, because usually I like to use a bigger needle for metallics than to use like a 0 0.3 or so, but this one has been a, taking it with no problem. Here's a 0 0.2, and I use this more for details. I put this thing to the test, guys, and I'm telling you, I haven't thoroughly cleaned it yet. Like, take it. When I say thoroughly clean, I, I, I've been doing fast cleaning, like, you know, clean the, the cup and everything and, and the needle a little bit. But that's, as far as taking this whole thing apart, with other brushes, I would have to take the whole thing apart and, you know, go through it and clean it very well. This one, not yet. And I've done a lot of kits with this already. Right, so this is a 0 0.2 now, this is the you want to call it the sister or the big brother 0 0.3 i will use this for more broad brushing for like what i'm doing right now for larger you know
coverage and stuff like that. I don't know if I would run a primer through this. Uh, other than the really thin primer, not like a thick primer that need for more coverage. I would, you know, test it. I can't tell you because I haven't tested, so I don't know. But I did. I, I am running metallics right now, and it's taking it like a charm. Just laying down paint with no problem, you know. I diluted it just very little bit because it's a the Pro Aqua is not a very thick paint, so it doesn't need much dilution when it, when you dilute the paint. And, and so far, it seems like with the metallic, the same thing. All right, so. But I am going to finish off and cleaning up this thing. Make sure I get good coverage everywhere. Nice and even coverage. And guys, it's not spitting out at all. It's putting down paint very nicely. Okay, now, one of the things that I found difficult. I'm going to try to clip some of the videos that we did for painting Ahura. And putting into this video to so you guys can see what I did when I did some, some of the broader brushing. Like her clothes and her hair and her face and things like that. I was able to get in and do some detail work with it, like getting close and getting some fine lines with it. You can do that with this. But if they have a 0 0.2, and when you buy the bundle, you can practically almost get two for the price of one compared to other airbrushes, then there you go. You got the two tools, one for fine and one for a little bit broader brushing. All right. Now, like I said, I'm going to let me put this clear out there. I'm not a professional airbrush painter. I get I did get my way around airbrushing and things like that, but I'm not gonna say that I'm a professional because I'm not. Okay, but I do love I do have various different types of airbrushes that I use. I have a very expensive infinity here. Okay. You guys that shop around, you guys know what and then another great one is there's a good airbrushes, don't get me wrong, but this is this is an expensive airbrush. Right, and then you got the Soltar 2020, which works phenomenal. Okay, and then I got a bunch of other ones. Uh, this is another it's bad, uh, Soltar, is a Badger Patriot, right? Uh, not Soltar, but a Badger airbrush, uh, and it's the Patriot. And I use this for uh, painting, um, for um, laying down primer. This one has a bigger needle, okay? So I lay down primers with this and things like that. But I do use these too, I still use them. Well, really, I haven't used it in a while, but <laughs> let's be realistic. But I've been beating the crap out of these guys, and they've been holding up, man. All right, now this one, if you guys watch all my videos, I've been using this a lot. All right, since I got it, I haven't put it down. So I wanted to give this one a try and see what kind of work I would have able to do. And I did it with Uhura completely, and I had no problem with it. Yeah, it's a larger bust, and if you guys do smaller things, it might not be. So you guys are going to have to test it out. Or watch somebody else is using it for those kind of things. But I do bigger, larger size scale kits. All right, and I haven't had no problem with it. All right, so I just want to do like a, a quick little review on this thing. You know, a really hands-on thing where I've been using it. And this is not an open box thing. It's, this is a, a, a non-hands that I use this thing to paint this kit. And it's been phenomenal. It hasn't... The only thing that I had a problem with is that's, this is my problem. It's not the, the problem of the airbrush. Because I use, usually use smaller cups, I was tending to put more uh, like thinner and things like that into the cup and my mixes weren't that good, you know, because I was just, I was, I was off. So I was like, what, what am I, you know, what am I doing wrong and, you know, this and that. So I figured it was the size of the cup. So what I did in the middle of one of the videos, I don't know if I'm able to show it or not. I'm not sure if I recorded that part or not, but I'll... I'll if you have these two, there's not much that you can interchange with these. They don't recommend that you change the needles, you know, between each other. You got to be careful not to mix the parts. If you have both and things like that, you don't want to mix them up because uh, you could do damage to the airbrush. You know, the, the, you know, the design is a little bit different. If you can see that right there, there's differences in it. Okay. And things like that. And they highly recommend that don't, you don't, you don't swap parts out. The only thing that you can swap without damaging anything is the cup. So I did switch the small, I got a little paint in there, I don't want to do it right now and show you, but I did take out this cup and swapped it, and I used a small, and it, and it, I was getting the mixes a little bit better then, alright, so if you want to do that, you can, and if you, you can also, I think you can also buy the cups separately from the Galeri website, and if you want to get a smaller cup, you can go ahead and do that, alright, 
but just look guys look at this this is perfect and let me show you real quick how thin you can get these lines i'm doing with a metallic so it might not come out very well but all right and the control the trigger like i said one of the one of the one of the of the problems that i have is because i have a large hand and i'm a little clumsy all right because see how the cup it gets in the way and things like that because my hands are big all right is the uh, the trigger i would love to get a little bit taller trigger kind of like what i have with the Sotar, I, I changed that and see how I put a bigger trigger. This trigger is about half the size down. The, the original one, this is a little taller. And I love using this trigger. I get a little more control and a little more precise with a taller trigger. All right. But once you get the hang of it, you can you can really do some, some nice little thin detail work. And, I, and I've done it with this kit. Uh, the, uh, and this is metallic, it's really nice, diluted all the way, and I'm getting some nice thin lines of it. Alright. So, do I recommend this average? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And the, you know what, guys? And they run a sale, and, and I'll put a link down below for my uh, um, for my coupon code. Uh, it's no cost to you, but I do get a little bit back on that. Um, they give me a little, it's like an affiliate thing. So... Um, if you use that, you could probably get a more, a little bit more discount. They do sell these, and uh, sometimes they come out with a special where they sell them in, a, in as a as a set, the O3 and the um, and the O2. And I would recommend get both if you can. All right, they're not that expensive compared to other airbrushes, to be honest with you. All right, and they got a whole bunch of other lines, uh, uh, different types of airbrushes where they have a trigger one. And all this thing like that. And you, if you guys go to Barbado X um, website, he, he, does, he did a lot of stuff on on uh, Galeri. He also came out with his own. Um, they came out with his own line of Barbado X uh, airbrush. So check him out. You know, I highly recommend his. Uh, he's very knowledgeable on paints and airbrushes and stuff. I learn a lot from him. I watch him all the time. And guys, it's a great little airbrush. I'll put some clips. From the work that we did on the Uhura, you know, along with uh, with this here, and so you guys can see what we did. Um, but I love that I, I I did this whole kit with the 0 0.3. And you guys watch my videos, you know, how I do skin tones and everything. I did it all with the the 0 0.3, and it, she came out beautiful. I really love the way she came out. All right, there she is. It's got to touch up her hair because I dropped it and it scuffed up the hair, but uh, that's no big deal. I'll do that in a little bit. Right, I'll be posting this on my Facebook page. If you guys want to go over there and check it out, but there it is. Right, depending how the light hits, you get those little shadows in there and stuff like that, which is real nice. Mm -hmm. Like I said, guys, I highly recommend 0 0.3 from Galeri. It's a beautiful airbrush to do a lot, you know, a lot of just... And then I got the 0 0.2 to do a little bit more detail work, which I love this freaking airbrush, and I love this one, too. I'm starting to really, really like these guys, man. I'm telling you. And, you know, I haven't really touched my other stuff at all, to be honest with you, you know, in a while. So, and easy to clean, easy to take apart, the whole thing. They give you extra parts, extra extra uh, seals and stuff like that in the box. Okay. Here, let me really show you real quick. Oh, I get this dirty. But you get a nice, beautiful box like that. Okay. Here's a cap that I left there because I don't really use them that much. Unless I'm doing extensive work and a lot of work with the same color, then I'll do that. I'll use those. You get beautiful display box and everything. All right, and you get all extra seals. Now remember, keep if you get the both boxes, keep these seals because these are for the O3. And the other ones, are obviously, they're for the O2. You don't want to mix them up. You get a little lubricant. Okay, and also what's neat show you real quick 
is you get obviously you get an instruction booklet on how to operate and take things apart but you get a nice breakdown of the whole kit inside the box too now galari has videos on their youtube channel about questions and answers about a lot of stuff you know usually there's a lot of mistakes that people do as, as far as uh user error and i recommend that you go check out that video there's a bunch of videos out there but check out the you know the videos where they they talk about things like that because it'll answer a lot of your questions as far as uh you know uh certain dilutions and this and that and the, and the gentleman talks about the parts and everything like that and the differences so i highly suggest that you guys go check out that website all right but this is a beautiful airbrush i love it i've been using it hands on guys and, and i can't complain i have no complaints about it other than like again my gripe is the trigger but i know that galari is eventually going to be coming out with a taller one because i sent them an email and they said they're going to be working on getting taller triggers all right which i'm very happy about that all right but other than that i am going to leave you now and i'm going to get back to work and finish this up <laughs> all right but this is pretty much done right there i'm going to wait till it dries and seal it and then i'll do a little touch-ups on her and things like that and then after that i'm just gonna glue her on there and i'm done i'll put pictures at the end so you guys can see what i how it came out but that picture's right there and if you guys want to see how we did it go to my live tab on my youtube channel or gilbert's or on steve's and you go there on live tab and we got a bunch of videos there since we started doing the way of the dragon two years ago and you're gonna see a bunch of videos on how we started from learning how to do skin tones to where we're at today and there's a bunch of us there and you'll see the progress of all those guys uh where they started from and where we're at today and, and the changes that you see in the improvements is, is amazing by everybody it's awesome all right so again thank you so much for everything hope you guys liked it check out uh, galaria i'll leave all links down below for everything if you guys are interested and uh that's it